Hello everyone, my name is Lance Lefebvre with Lefebvre Design. This is a Novatel Smart MR10. This is a dual frequency L1 and L2 GPS and GLONASS receiver. Uh, it also does L-band for the Omnistar stuff. It is capable of running autonomously on an SBAS or DGPS system such as WAS or EGNOS. It runs on Omnistar, XP, HP, or G2. And it also runs RTK, either as a rover or a base station. You've got a lot of options with this receiver. The chassis is aluminum. The top part is plastic. It is uh, IP67 sealed and certified, submersible, waterproof, dustproof. It is designed for a rugged environment, and it's a pretty, pretty beefy receiver too, hefty-wise. On the back are three status LEDs and a 23-pin plug. In that plug are three RS-232 serial ports, CAN bus, emulated radar output, one pulse per second, some other stuff, and uh, of course power input. The power requirements on this are 8 to 36 volt DC, so it's great for running on 12 or 24 volt machines. Um, if you're running autonomous or on WAS, I do recommend you turn on the glide function, which will significantly reduce your amount of drift pass to pass. Um, if you're running RTK, uh, it will either generate or accept CMR, CMR Plus, RTCA, RTCM version 2, RTCM version 3. Uh, it's great for running on any of the cores networks that are around the U.S. A lot of, a lot of places are starting to build those up. Um, and here in Iowa, I'm using the RTCM version 3 max correction system, which is uh, using towers, about five or six towers from around my area. Um, in addition to the receiver, there are numerous base plate options available. On the bottom, there are holes and, that are tapped for both metric and U.S. standard uh, bolt sizes. And Novotel has a variety of mounting plates, but you're free to, you know, just take a chunk of flat steel and cut some holes in it as you as you need it to mount to whatever you want. Um, for cabling options, there are, this is the standard cable, which is a, a pretty beefy, nice cable, good strain relief, and it, it's a nice cable. Breaks out to two serial ports and power. Uh, if you want some of the other things like CAN, you can buy this weird looking thing, which is the development cable, and it breaks out to every single pin on that plug. It's a hefty cable. There's a lot of a lot of things to plug into on this and of course you're, you're free to make your own cable too it's just a standard Tyco 23 pin plug um, so you can get that and some pins and make a cable on your own as well if this receiver is of interest to you do let me know leftbeer.com the link is in the description below and uh, have a great day thanks